Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome. In this video lecture, I will discuss the topic Thorndike's trial and error theory. Let us first try to understand brief life sketch of E. L. Thorndike. Edward Lee Thorndike, born on 31st August 1874, was an American psychologist and educational theorist. He is best known for his significant contributions to the field of educational psychology. Thorndike earned his undergraduate degree from Wesleyan University and later completed his PhD in psychology at Harvard University. Throughout his career, he conducted extensive research on learning and behavior, laying the foundation for educational psychology. Let me now discuss the Thorndike's trial and error theory. Thorndike's trial and error theory, also known as connectionism, is a fundamental principle in the field of educational psychology. This theory is based on Thorndike's observations of animal behavior, particularly his experiments with cats. Experiment on cats In one of Thorndike's famous experiments, he placed hungry cats in puzzle boxes. These boxes could be opened by performing a specific action, such as pulling a lever or pressing a button, to access food outside the box. The cats were initially unfamiliar with the escape mechanism, but through trial and error, they eventually discovered the correct action to open the box and obtain the food. Thorndike observed that with repeated trials, the cats became quicker at escaping, demonstrating the learning process through trial and error. This theory contributes to the understanding of how learning takes place through practical experiences, feedback, and the formation of associations between stimuli and responses. Main Features of Thorndike's Theory 1. Law of Effect One of the main features of Thorndike's theory is the law of effect, which states that responses followed by satisfaction are strengthened and more likely to be repeated, while responses followed by discomfort are weakened and less likely to recur. This principle highlights the role of consequences in shaping behavior. 2. Connectionism Thorndike's theory is often referred to as connectionism because it emphasizes the formation of connections between stimuli and responses. Learning is seen as the establishment of associations or connections between a stimulus and the appropriate response. 3. Trial and error learning The theory is based on the concept of trial and error learning where individuals discover the correct response through repeated attempts. Learning is seen as a gradual process of forming associations through practical experience. 4. Puzzle Box Experiments Thorndike conducted experiments, notably with cats in puzzle boxes, to demonstrate trial and error learning. The animals were placed in a controlled environment where they had to explore and engage in various actions to find a solution. This experimental setup illustrated the principles of learning through repeated trials. 5. Incremental Learning Thorndike's theory suggests that learning occurs incrementally through small, successive steps. Each successful trial contributes to the strengthening of associations, leading to improved performance over time. 6. Importance of Practice The theory underscores the importance of practice and repetition in the learning process. Repeated attempts and practice lead to the formation of strong connections between stimuli and responses, enhancing learning. 7. Transfer of Learning Thorndike recognized the concept of transfer of learning, where skills or knowledge learned in one context could be applied or transferred to another. This idea supports the notion that learning is not isolated but can be generalized to different situations. 8. Feedback Mechanism Immediate and informative feedback plays a crucial role in Thorndike's theory. Feedback serves as a guide for individuals to understand the consequences of their actions, reinforcing positive behaviors and discouraging negative ones. 9. Individual Differences The theory acknowledges individual differences in learning. Thorndike's emphasis on trial and error allows for flexibility in accommodating diverse learning styles and paces. Educational Implications of the Theory 1. Law of Effect Thorndike proposed the law of effect, 
stating that responses followed by satisfaction are strengthened and more likely to recur, while responses followed by discomfort are weakened and less likely to recur. This principle has profound implications for classroom management and instructional design. 2. Importance of Feedback The theory emphasizes the significance of immediate and informative feedback in the learning process. Constructive feedback helps reinforce positive behaviors and correct negative ones, facilitating effective learning. 3. Individualized Instruction Thorndike's theory suggests that individuals learn at their own pace through trial and error. This supports the idea of individualized instruction, recognizing the diversity in learning styles and abilities. 4. Practical Applications Thorndike's work laid the groundwork for behaviorist theories and influenced the development of instructional methods. The principles of reinforcement and punishment are integral to behaviorist approaches widely used in education. 5. Skill Development The theory underscores the importance of practice and repetition for skill development. Educators can design learning experiences that provide opportunities for students to engage in meaningful trial and error activities. 6. Problem-Solving Approach Thorndike's theory encourages a problem-solving approach to learning. Students are motivated to explore different strategies and discover solutions, fostering a sense of autonomy and critical thinking.